Hey guys, I'm back. I just got off the water on a regular Wednesday night training run and I just want to say a few words here. Right as I was checking one of the Facebook groups as I left my desk at the end of the day, um, there was an interesting discussion going on about different boats and I don't want to name names or act, seem like I'm throwing anybody under the bus because I'm not. It was a genuinely good discussion. Um, but the discussion went towards um, plastic beginner surf skis and uh, whether we need more boats like that to introduce more people into the sport. Hence, do manufacturers need to do more to bring more people into the sport? And I thought about that for a minute and I thought, boy, there's really no lack of uh, beginner plastic surf skis in the market. Certainly there have been many over the years. Right now, the most popular is the Epic V7. There's the Nilo 510. I used to own the uh, Piranha Octane. There was the, uh, the PRS ski in the US for a while. I'm sure there are others. So there is a place in the market for those types of boats. However, if that was a big space, these manufacturers would be coming up with more boats similar to that. So right now I think the V7 owns that market for good reason. It's a really good boat, great for beginners. Um, just about anybody can paddle that. <clears throat> But I think a lot of times we forget to expand the sport and get more people into it. It's up to us. Uh, some of us, you know, getting long and tooth who have been around for a while, we like to paddle these high-end boats because we just enjoy them. We know the benefits of speed and technique. Um, and you've heard me say it on this channel many times. We all started somewhere. We probably all started in a plastic wreck kayak. It's up to us to bring those people into the sport. Now here on Wednesday nights years ago, I started a Facebook group for uh, local paddlers and every Wednesday night after work, we come out here, we get together and we just go paddle for a recreational paddle. And uh, newbies show up, people with, you know, pelicans that they bought at a box store, everybody is welcome and they know that. And uh, from time to time, I organize trips for beginners and I feel that's, you know, it's easy to get in the mindset, I don't want to go with a wrecked person with little experience. That might not be as much fun as, you know, covering territory um, in at least a little bit of time efficiently. But you got to remember, that is how we bring people into the sport. And it's up to us. We need to lower the barriers. We need to seem not so intimidating. When we get to events, you see people with all this logo t-shirt over here. And then the other brands logo t-shirts over there these folks all tend to congregate together and you know talk about their skis their surf skis and the brands and i get it it's, we're all like that right we congregate the people who've bought things that we've bought and you know we make connections that way i get it but look around that group next time you're there and look at the people standing around who just are kind of staring at the water they're not talking to anybody go approach those people talk to them ask them how they got into paddling ask them what they're paddling talk to them about their goals, where they come from, and just that simple conversation can lower the barrier to uh, ha somebody having a really good first experience in an event versus somebody that just is intimidated and gets turned off because they see people wearing matching jerseys and high-end skis and they think, oh boy, this is just a group for professional racers who are very serious about it. So my perspective is it's up to us to bring new people into the sport. Yeah. Um, the manufacturers are going to come in and create boat designs to meet that demand. But, you know, it's up to us to introduce people to the sport, to pay it forward. Go take some beginners down on a, a river or out on a lake. Talk to them. Figure out where they're coming from. And just do what you can to ensure they have very good early first experiences paddling. And that's going to get them hooked. And then they're going to work up the curve. Or even if they don't, it doesn't matter. We just need to lower the barriers and get more people out on the water, enjoying what is, I believe, the healthiest fitness lifestyle anybody could possibly engage in. So that's my little rant for this evening. I hope everybody's doing well during the pandemic. Uh, we got the Richmond Paddle Cup race coming up this Saturday. I'm looking forward to it. Chattajack got canceled in October. Uh, when I heard that, I was a little bummed out, but I understand it. You know, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. It doesn't make sense to bring a thousand people together from all over different states and even different countries. So, you know what? It, that is what it is. Um, you know, we got to be we got to be resilient and just bounce back and roll with the punches. So uh, in the scheme of things, missing a kayak race is not that big a deal. So take care and I hope to paddle with you soon.